Today we're making an invisible apple cake. This cake has multiple layers of thinly sliced apples with a bit of custard like batter holding it all together. So for this cake you want to make sure you're using really good uh, cooking apples such as Golden Delicious or Granny Smith. Um, in my case I'll be using Spartan apples because that's all I had. If you'd like to see more recipes like this make sure that you hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Alright let's get started. So you want to start off by peeling your apples so you can either do it with a paring knife like I'm doing or you can use a vegetable peeler. So peel off all your apples and then remove the core of the apples. So cut off all the flesh, remove the center and then next you want to slice the apples thinly. So you can do this either by using a sharp knife or use a mandolin like I'm using. So the mandolin makes it just really easy and faster to slice your apples. Now put the apples away and next it's time to make the batter. So you want to crack uh, two eggs into your mixing bowl and then add your sugar. Mix this thoroughly until the sugar and the eggs are pale. Next add your melted butter and then stir that thoroughly until well incorporated. And then you want to add your lemon zest. And add your milk and then stir that all together so the lemon zest just adds a little more freshness to your cake and adds just a little more flavor so mix that thoroughly and next you want to add the flour so whisking the flour until there are no more lumps and it's very nice and smooth and then it's time to add your apple slices so here you want to make sure that all your apple slices are very well coated in the batter and then you want to set that aside. Prepare your baking pan by rubbing it with uh, some butter and then lining it with some parchment paper. So the parchment paper will make it easier for you to bring out the apple cake once it's ready. So here you want to pour in your apple cake batter. Level off the cake batter with your spatula, like, like so. And then once it's level, it's time to top it up with some almond slices. So the almonds will add a little more texture and also a little more nutty flavor to the apple cake. Then bake in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 50 minutes. Uh, and then once it's cooked, you want to bring it out of the oven and let it rest at room temperature for about two hours at the very least. This will help the custard batter set before you cut into the cake. You can also leave it in the fridge overnight, which is what I typically do. And that way you have a nice, cold, fresh apple cake to enjoy. So here I'm enjoying this cake with some lemon cord. If you'd like to know how to make a lemon cord, make sure you click this link uh, right here. So I hope you really enjoyed this recipe. It's really easy, very delicious. And there's so many different ways in which you can enjoy it. So instead of using a lemon zest, you could use um, cinnamon. You could leave it as is. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I encourage you to like, share, comment. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care now.